What's up you guys, Avery here, wanted to bring you guys a new episode of Perfecting Chamber, and I want to say this is either episode 5 or 6, I apologize for not knowing the episode offhand, but I want to make a quick video for you guys talking about the Time Lords in Chamber, and uh, I have not posted in a couple days, so I do want to apologize for that, but I wanted to put out a quick video, uh, even though it's like 11 o'clock at night, my family's asleep, so I kind of have to be quiet, so I apologize for that, you guys. Um, but I want to talk about the Time Lords and Chamber because with the release of the new Time Lords, the Time Lords have actually kind of gotten better, and some people have actually been trying to make a deck out of them, as my dad has been trying to do here, for example. This is still a rough sketch of a build, so don't think this is like a great build because we're still testing it. And by, by we, I mean him. <laughs> so, why do I want to talk about the Time Lords? Well, the Time Lords are very interesting because of the fact that... They're very high level monsters, so you're able to make things like Gustav Max to immediately deal uh, 2,000 damage to the opponent, which is very good, especially because of the fact that Chamberin doesn't really need an extra deck, so you don't have to do this. However, you can in your Chamberin build if you want to, and also because of the fact that Time Lords are impervious to most cards in the game. Uh, even when Meta Ion first came out, it was impervious to many cards in the game, and still is. It's still a very, very good card, and I think it's one of the best Time Lords, in my opinion. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Meta Ion does, and maybe only know what the newer ones do, I'm just going to go ahead and read it off for you. Most of them have the same effect. Um, none of them can be special summoned from the deck. And if you control no monsters, then you can normal summon it without tributing. They all have that effect. And this card cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. They all also have that same effect where they cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. They also all have the same effect where you take no battle damage from battles involving this face of attack position card. And then this is where their effect is different. At the end of in Meta Ion's case, this is his effect. At the end of the battle phase, if this card attacked or was attacked, return all other monsters on the field of the hand and inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each card returned. During your standby phase, shuffle this card into the deck, even if face down. All the Time Lords shuffle into the deck um, at the uh, during the next standby phase, or your next standby phase, rather. <clears throat> so that is their one hindrance, that they have to go back into the deck on your next standby phase. However, they are still good for the rank 10 plays that they can do because, you know, let's say you drop two of them, you can swing with Meta Ion, use its effect, main phase two, make a Gustav Max, deal 2,000 damage, and this is good in Chain Burn because depending on your burn build, um, you can side deck the Meta Ions. I've even seen some people, um, we'll just use this burn deck for, as an example. <clears throat> some people have been side decking the meta ions, some people have even been main decking the meta ions, because of the fact that you have all this stall and you have all this burn, and you can pretty much slow roll the opponent, and you know, let's say you're going against Zodiac, and they drop, you know, Hammer Kong, Dryden, Masterpiece, all this stuff, and you just go meta ion, attack, bounce everything to your hand, if it's from your extra deck, it's obviously going to go back in the extra deck, they lose their Missius Radiant, they have to, um, link someone for it again and dedicate resources to that Mrs. Radiant and essentially it can really disrupt your opponent's board and kind of help you get back into the game especially because of the fact that Chamberlain is such a slow deck and that's what makes the Time Lords so so good it's also why it makes Lava Golem still so good to this day just because of the fact that you can disrupt your opponent's board and especially even in link format if they're not playing any link monsters you just tribute monsters off from their main monster zone and then you know they can't you know exceed with it or whatever the case may be because they're stuck with a monster in their extra monster zone <clears throat> and along with chain energy if your opponent wants to play all those cards again if you have chain energy face up they're going to lose 500 so it just tacks on and on and on and eventually it just almost nearly kills your opponent <clears throat> so Overall, do I think that the Time Lords are amazing in Chamberlain? They are <clears throat> in the correct build. You can't just throw in, you know, three of each of the Time Lords into every single Chamberlain or Burn in general, main deck or side deck, because it's not necessarily going to work. It's going to depend on how you want to play Chamberlain, how you want to run your deck. You may or may not want to play Mount of the Bound Creator in your side deck with your uh, Burn deck with the Time Lords, or you may want to. It just all depends on your player preference and what you want to do. However, I feel that if you are going to play Burn, Meta Eye on the Time Lord is one one of the better ones to pick just because it can really disrupt your opponent's board and you combine it with Mount of the Bound Creator and the Time Lords basically become indestructible. So let me know what you guys think about the Time Lords in the comments below. I'd be really interested to see what you guys have to say. 
again, I apologize for not uploading the past couple days. Work has been killing me, but um, I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. I start school up in a couple weeks. Um, the case opening for Code of the Duelist will be soon. I'm just waiting for my boxes. And other than that, thank you guys for watching as always, and subscribe if you have not already.